Hey guys, it's Marshall from Going Gear, and today we're going to take a look at the Olight S10 Baton. Really cool little light, 320 lumens on high on a regular CR123. I've actually been carrying a prototype around for several months now, and uh, I like it a lot. So let's go and open it up, show you what you get on the inside, go ahead and pull everything out. Alrighty. Alright, here's the light itself. I'm going to set that to the side for right now, show you the other stuff. So the other stuff that you get in there, you have a little split ring. You have a lanyard, spare O-rings, all that standard stuff, and then an instruction manual. Always worth a read. I always recommend that you read the instruction manuals because it'll tell you compatible batteries, the specifications, operation instructions, and uh, all that kind of stuff. But five different outputs on here. has strobe as well, and we'll show you how to access all that. And it'll run off of a CR123 or an RCR123, but you just need a regular CR123 to get that 320 lumens. Zoom in, show you this little guy up close. Too close. All right, there we go. So nice styling on it. I thought they did a really good job on it. You can see how compact it is. And they, a lot of that is because of the switch on the side because switches on the end take up a decent amount of space because you have the clicky and all that kind of stuff in there. So putting the switch on the side saved a lot of uh, space and everything. Nice clip, it's actually reversible. So you can pop that off flip it around and put it back on. And that's actually, actually what I did with my own personal one. And then uh, here's the back of it. Cree XML LED, orange peel reflector, the O-ring right there. There you can see the little red O-ring. Stainless steel bezel on there. So when you drop it, it helps protect it from impacts and everything. Nice knurling on the body and on the tail cap so it's easy to grip. And then the button actually glows in the dark, which is kind of neat. Let me see if I was about to say, let me see if I can find a flashlight. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that's maybe the most ridiculous thing I've ever said. Let me see if I can find one of my 400 flashlights I have in immediate vicinity. But probably a little overkill on this Nikkor TM15. But there you go. You can see even in uh, full lighting, it does actually glow. Kind of neat. So zoom back out. I'm going to throw a battery in here and show you the operation and everything. So let's go ahead and take the tail cap off. There you can see the tail cap down in there and uh, inside the battery tube and the circuit and everything. So in there is actually a magnet. So this thing actually is magnetic, which is pretty cool. So it will attach to magnetic surfaces, which uh, some people like, some people don't like. I personally really like it. I find it really, really useful. You, know, you can attach it to the underside of your car or a shelf or something like that. But uh, if you don't like that, you can actually remove the magnet. This spring comes out and you can take the magnet out if you want to. I choose not to because I like it. So Surefire CR123, going to go ahead and slide that down in there. And uh, we'll put the tail cap on as well. Not the most useful feature in the world, but oops. <laughs> you can see why it's not the most useful thing. But uh, I don't know why I'm amused by this, but the batteries actually stick to the tail cap when you pull them out. Not that it's hard to get a battery out of a flashlight, but it's something that it can do. All right, so let's go ahead and put the tail cap back on. And we'll show you the operation of this guy. So switch on the side. Click the switch, and it'll turn on. Press and hold, and it'll cycle between different outputs. You can see one, two, three, four different outputs. Actually, it's got three in this, and I'll show you where the fourth one is. But uh, you can see instead of going in the regular low, medium, high, it actually cycles between goes up and down and then down again instead of just going straight through the modes like normal, which is kind of cool. I, I, I uh, like this interface a lot better. There's also a fourth mode that you can access, which if it's off, if you press and hold it, it'll go straight into the moonlight mode, which I find this using, I find myself using this more than anything else by far. Um, you know, low light situations, this is perfect for seeing stuff up close, seeing what's going on right in front of you reading something, you know, without disturbing the people around you or uh, your night adapted vision. And no matter how long you hold it down, it's going to stay in that moonlight mode. So you can just keep on holding it and it'll stay in there. And then you can release it and press and hold and it'll start cycling through the other outputs again. There's also strobe. So when you have it turned on, just double click it and you'll go into strobe. No SOS on this one, which I'm thankful for because I've never ever heard of anybody actually using SOS. <laughs> Not for its intended purpose anyway. A ton of people use strobe. I think that's a very useful feature, but uh, I've never heard of anybody using SOS. So four different outputs. Moonlight, again, press and hold. It'll go straight into that. Tap it and then 
press and hold and it'll cycle through the different outputs and it does have a memory so if you have it in high turn it off turn it back on it'll go back into that and then double click for strobe just tap it to turn it back off so that is the interface and everything we'll go ahead and take the s10 outside and i'll show you how this little guy does outside Okay, got the little S10 baton out here. It's kind of a cold night, so I'm wearing gloves. You'll see that it's still easy to operate even with gloves on. But uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. I'll actually press and hold the button and let it cycle through the different outputs just so you can see what they look like. But let's get it back to that high. Let it cycle around. And on your high, you can see nice, really wide beam. That's why I like this light so much. Why I've been carrying it lately is my EDC. Really wide beam, lights up everything in front of you. Great for just a general purpose kind of light. And obviously the instant access to the lowest output is really nice. So you can get to that right away. But uh, good output on this. Nice wide beams. So the hot spot, really wide. Spill on it, still pretty bright. I can shine it up and you can see even the spill down here still lights up things pretty darn well. A lot of output on this little guy. Not going to do any super distances. I mean, such a small light with a small reflector and relatively large LED. You don't really expect that. But uh, you can see it still does a really good job even out at 100 feet. Let's try it a little bit longer distance and see how it does. Okay, we have the S10 and about 100 yards to work with now. Let's see how it does now. There's my house, the chimney at about uh, 25 yards away trees in my neighbor's yard tops of them are about 100 yards away you can see i mean it's not getting out there super super well not like some of the thrower lights but you can still see the lighter parts of the trees i mean you still see what's going on i mean i can see what's going on out there pretty well again you're not going to get super distance out of a light like this but as i shine it around you can see it still does pretty well for such a small compact little light 320 lumens out of this little guy so not bad so that's the olight s10 baton if you like it, you can buy it from us at goinggear.com. Any questions or comments, you can reach us in the comments or at goinggear.com. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. We put out a lot of other flashlight and gear videos. Thanks for watching.